Welcome to Mindly Way, where we explore life philosophies to grow and find the right path. Get ready to listen for an inner journey. Even without doing any activity, you can still manifest what you want. Once you are like this, anything that you wish happens without lifting a little finger. Actually, what has not happened till now on this planet can happen tomorrow. Human beings are capable of making it happen tomorrow. What is possible and not possible is not your business, it's nature's business. Everything we as human beings have created on this planet was essentially fast created in our minds. All that you see which is human work on this planet first found expression in the mind then it got manifested in the outside world. The beautiful things that we have done on this planet and the horrible things that we have done on this planet, both have come from the human mind, so if we are concerned as to what we create in this world it's extremely important that first of all we learn to make the right things in our mind, how we keep our minds, if we do not have the power to keep our minds the way we want it, what we create in the world is also going to be very accidental and haphazard so learning to create our minds the way we want is the basis of creating the world the way we want. There is a wonderful story in the yogic law on a certain day, a man took a walk, he went for a long walk, accidentally unawares he walked into paradise, fortune it isn't he just took a walk and he landed up in paradise after this long walk he felt little tired so he thought oh I'm tired I wish I could rest somewhere he looked around there there was a nice tree underneath which there was very cushiony grass so it was inviting he went and put his head down there and slept after a few hours he woke up well rested and he thought oh I am well rested but I'm feeling hungry I wish I had something to eat and he thought about all the nice things that he ever wanted to eat in his life and instantly all those things appeared in front of him you need to understand they have the services like that food arrived and he ate the tank until he was full then he thought oh my stomach is full i wish i had something to drink thinking about it all the nice things he had ever wanted to drink just appeared people who drink also don't ask questions so he drank now that he had a little alcohol in him. You know Charles Darwin told you all that you are monkeys, not me. Your tail fell away. According to Charles Darwin, you were all monkeys until your tail fell off and you turned into humans. Yes, definitely the tail fell away, but the monkey in yoga we always refer to an unestablished mind, which means a monkey. Why we are referring to the mind as a monkey is what are the holidays of a monkey. One thing about a monkey is its unnecessary moment, and another thing about the monkey is if I say you're monkeying somebody, what does it mean imitation? Monkey and imitation have become synonymous, so these two essential qualities of a monkey are very much the qualities of an unestablished established mind, unnecessary moment, you don't have to learn it from the monkey, you can teach it to the monkey, and imitation is full-time job of the mind. So when these two qualities are on the mind is referred to as a monkey so this monkey became active within him he just looked around thought what the hell is happening here I asked for food food came I asked for drink drink came there must be ghosts around here on ghost game all the ghosts have come they are going to surround me and torture me he thought immediately the ghosts surrounded him and started torturing him then he started screaming in pain and said oh they're going to kill me and he died just now he said he's a fortunate being the problem as he was sitting under a calperic shoe or a wishing tree he asked for food food came he asked for drink drink came he asked for ghosts ghost came he asked for torture torture came he asked for death death happened a well-established mind a mind which is in a state of somuti is referred to as a culp eviction if you organize your mind to a certain level of organization it in turn organizes the whole system your body your emotion your energies Everything gets organized in the directions when saw these four dimensions of you, your physical body, your mind, your emotion, and the fundamental life energies are organized in one direction. Once you are like this, anything that you wish happens without lifting a little finger. Actually, it would help to assist it with activity, but even without doing any activity, you can still manifest what you want. If you organize these four dimensions in one direction and keep it unwavering in that direction for a certain period of time right now, 
the problem with your mind is every moment it is changing its direction. It is like you want to travel somewhere and every two steps if you keep changing your direction. The question of you reaching the destination is very remote unless it happens by chance. So organizing our minds and in turn organizing the whole system. And these four basic dimensions of who you are right now in one direction. If you do this, you are a Kalpa Brookshire yourself. Anything that you wish will happen. So organizing our minds fundamentally means moving from a compulsive state of activity to a conscious state of activity. You might have heard of people for whom they ask for something and beyond all expectations, it came true to the true for them. Generally, this happens to people who are in faith. Now, let's say you want to build a house. If you start thinking, oh, I want to build a house to build a house I need 50 locks but I have only 50 rupees in my pocket not parsable not conceivable not conceivable saying not parsable simultaneously conveys the message I don't want it which means that while you're expressing a desire for something it may not actually happen in this situation someone who is so simple-minded as to have confidence in a god a temple or anything else trust effective just for those with straightforward thinking styles it never works for those with excessively sophisticated ideas. A childlike person who has a simple faith in his god or his temple or whatever he goes to the temple and says Shiv I want a house I don't know how you must make it funny now in his mind there are no negative thoughts will it happen will it not happen is it possible is it not possible these things are completely removed by this simple act of faith. Now he believes Shiva will do it for him and it will happen so is Shiva going to come and build your house no, I want you to understand God will not lift his little finger for you what you refer to as God. He's a source of creation as a creator. He has done a phenomenal job. There's no question about it. Could you think of a better creation than this? Is it in anybody's imagination to think anything better than what is there right now? So as a creator, he has done his job wonderfully well. But if you want life to happen the way you want it, because right now the very crux of your happiness and your well-being is this. If at all, if you're unhappy, the only and only reason why you're you're unhappy as life is not happening the way you think it should happen. That's all there is to it. If life is not going the way you believe it should, you are unhappy. If life is going the way you believe it should, you are happy. It's that simple. Therefore, if life must go the way you believe it should, how you think will determine whether your thought will become a reality or whether it is just an empty thought. Additionally, how you think will determine whether you create obstacles for your thought process by thinking negatively will determine whether something is parsable or not, which will ultimately destroy humanity. What is parsable and not possible is not your business, it's nature's business. Your business is just to strive but what you want right now you're sitting here. If I ask you two simple questions right now from where you're sitting, can you just fly off? You say no right now from where you're sitting, can you get up and walk? You'll say yes. What is the basis of this why you say no to flying and yes to walking because past experience of life, many times you've gotten up and walked, never did you fly off or in other words, you're using the past experience of life as a basis for deciding whether something is parsable or not possible, or in other words, you have decided that what has not happened till now cannot happen in your life in future. This is a disgrace to humanity and the human spirit. What has not happened till now on this planet can happen tomorrow. Human beings are capable of making it happen tomorrow. So what is parsable and what is not possible is not your business. That is nature's business. Nature will decide that you just see what is it that you really want and strive for that the first and foremost thing is you must be clear what is it that you really want. If you consider what you truly want, the topic of generating it doesn't come up if you don't know what you desire. All that any human being is seeking is pleasantness pleasures around him, pleasantness within themselves, pleasantness in our bodies, which we call help and pleasure, peace and joy, which occurs in our minds, love and compassion, which occurs in our emotions, which we call love and compassion, blissfulness and ecstasy. That is what every human being wants, a joyful, peaceful existence filled with loving and affectionate relationships. This is all that a person needs in the morning. If you get up every day thinking, today, wherever I go, I will create a peaceful, loving, and joyful world, then all that matters is that you are a devoted man, 
Regardless of how many times you fall, failure doesn't exist if you fall down a hundred times. There are a hundred lessons to be learned if you dedicate yourself in this way to creating what you truly care about. First, your thoughts become organized. Next, your emotions become organized. Finally, your energies are organized in the same direction as your thoughts and emotions. Your entire body will become organized once your thoughts, emotions, and energies are all directed in one direction. You are the creator in many ways, and you have an extraordinary ability to create and manifest what you desire.